It was not long before that PM Modi made the rhetorical statement at a party meeting that BJP will form its government in Kerala. Following this, we saw a series of BJP attempts to woo voters through its community outreach programs and developmental endeavors. And of course, the BJP's latest political trump card may be Vande Bharat train, which became a reality in Kerala, throwing a surprise to the people of Kerala and outsmarting LDF-led government's ambitious but controversial K-Rail project or Silver Line project, which has been shelved. Two weeks ago, Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan had expressed his disappointment over Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav's statement that permitting Vande Bharat trains to Kerala was not under the consideration of the central government at the moment and had asked the central government to reconsider its stand. The railway minister stated in February that Vande Bharat Express would reach Kerala soon, but he later went back on the promise. Though an official announcement is yet to come, the state BJP leadership confirmed on Friday that Prime Minister Narendra Modi would make the big announcement on his arrival in the state later this month. They described it as a vishukainetam to the people of the state from the sender and the Prime Minister. The unexpected arrival of rakes of the semi-high-speed train in Kerala on Friday from Chennai evoked a great response and excitement from local people who thronged the Palakkad and Tiruvanthapuram stations where it had halted. Taking a dig at the Pindrai Vijayan-led state government over its silver line project, Union Minister uh, V. Murali Dharan said, the centre does not bring development to Kerala by evicting tens of thousands of people. The state government is trying to implement the silver line by evicting thousands of people. But the centre is bringing Vante Bharat for the smooth journey of everyone without causing any difficulty to anyone. The minister said, this definitely has struck a chord with anti-Kerail protesters. The BJP, which is now flaunting its development strategy through the Vande Bharat train, is aiming to make huge gains in the state in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. The BJP, which was cautious not to give even an iota of credit to the state government for the Vande Bharat train, is hoping to further its political influence in Kerala. The senior officials of the railway division got the information about the Vande Bharat uh, train just three days ago. Only a few BJP leaders, including Union Minister of State V. Murali Dharan, were aware of this. Neither the office of Minister V. Abdur Rahman, who is in charge of railways in Kerala, nor the state government had received any notification regarding Vande Bharat train. The minister's office said that it came to know about it only through the media and that it had not received any official notification from the sender. Railway had started preparations for it months before. However, the Kerala government did not know about this. The state minister's office was not informed about the arrival of the railway general manager in Kerala regarding the renovation of the stations. The railway divisional manager participated in the online meeting held by the public administration department in connection with the arrival of the prime minister in Kerala. The state government was not aware of the matter even then. Two weeks ago, the chief minister had written to the prime minister demanding a Vante Bharat train for Kerala. It must be noted that the sender had not hinted about allotting Vante Bharat for Kerala in its uh, replies in the parliament. On the other hand, NLDF considers Vande Bharat as a political move to eliminate the Silver Line project. The controversial Silver Line project envisioned by the state government has a speed of 200 km per hour. Vande Bharat, which will run at a speed of 100 km per hour in the first phase, is expected to run at 160 km per hour after the facilities are upgraded. The BJP which implemented Vande Bharat without evicting anyone is believing that it has succeeded in neutralizing the influence of the ruling and opposition parties in Kerala. According to sources, Prime Minister Narendra Modi who will reach Kerala on April 24th is scheduled to inaugurate the Vande Bharat Express from Tiruvanthapuram the next day. Now let us see what's special about Vande Bharat.
the indigenously developed and built trains can achieve a maximum speed of 180 km per hour depending on the conditions of the track. Number two, the train can touch 100 km per hour in 52 seconds. Next, with driver cabins at both ends, there is no need to reverse the train, thereby saving time. Vande Bharat trains are fully air conditioned. Automatic doors are a standard feature. LED lighting is another attraction. The washrooms use bio vacuum technology similar to aircraft. The arrival of Vande Bharat is likely to be a hot political topic during the 2024 Lok Sabha polls in the state, as the BJP leaders and workers are claiming that the train reflects PM Modi's care for Keralites. BJP leaders are calling the Vande Bharat train the answer to the state government's charges that the centre was creating hurdles in the development path of Kerala by denying permission to its ambitious Silver Line project. In the coming days, we will have to see whether the BJP will make Vande Bharat train its political tool for the next Lok Sabha election. But whatever it is, the Vande Bharat train has brought smiles on the faces of hundreds of thousands of people who had come out to protest vehemently against K-Rail.